This is a video on integration of e to the x transcendental function. Um, and let's get started on it. Um, for my programs, you have to press second alpha and put the letters i, n, d, e, x in here, and then press alpha again to put the 8 in the open and close parentheses. Press enter, and you're into my menu. Integration by parts is the program that does cosine, sine, and e to the x and natural log. And so in my program, so I'm going to, uh, which says integrate transcendentals, I'm going to choose e to the x and to enter anything in my in my lines here of the of the entry lines you have to press alpha first so we're gonna press alpha and put um, x times let's say e to the um, x squared I always show you what you entered so you can change it in case you made a mistake. Give you that option. And I also need you to tell me whether this is equal or not. If it is, I haven't been able to program the calculator to do that um, in a certain way that's too complicated for you to understand. But uh, And so I mean, if it is equal, you press S. If it isn't, then I tell you what else to do with it. And I explained to you that the derivative of the inside function, the parentheses, matches in some way the outside. And if that happens, then that's a u substitution problem. And so then we, we're evaluating this. We rewrite it by putting this x here over by the x dx and isolating that. Choose x squared for u du is the derivative of 2x. And then whenever you have anything in front of the x, you have to uh, transfer it to the other side by division. So here's 1 half du equals x dx. And that was the same as what our original function when we rewrote it. And so you do your calculation, write everything you see on your paper and your tests and homework. You get an A on this problem. And the answer is 1 half e to the u plus c. And you substitute back in x squared for u, so you get 1 half e to the x squared plus c. That's the answer. Pretty neat, huh? Everystepcalculus.com. Go to my site, buy my programs, enjoy them, and pass calculus.